How can we do good deeds? If we use our life for the others, it can be called good deeds. If we use our belongings for the others, it can be called good deeds. When I started my meditation, I was making my own business. I went to the meditation center, and then I keep reset. I listen to my dot, and I'm trying to meditate. This is not for meditation. Keeping preset are concerned with everyone. That's why keeping preset, listening to my dot, and practicing meditation are also doing good deeds. Uh, we should do with right understanding. If we use wrong understanding, our physical action is right. Our mental action is wrong. So, if we are doing good deeds, it can be called uh, doing good deeds. If we are keeping precepts or listening to mother or studying Buddhism, practicing mindfulness we can understand that we are doing good deeds. That's why, uh, for me, I'm, I'm helping people to keep preset, to listening to my dot, and then to meditate. I'm helping people by using my life, my time, my belongings. That's why this action can be called good deeds. I make a meditation center, which is for all, not private center, public, public. So anyone can come and stay and learn and help. They, they can do what they want. For the meditators, they, they want to meditate, but they have, they have difficulty to find a place to meditate. To meditate at home is not easy because most of the people are doing what they want. They may study or they may do business at home or they may watch TV or listen song. That's why to meditate at home is difficult for most of the people. That's why these people who have difficulty to find a place for meditation, will come and stay at the center. Besides, there are also patients or sick people. They have no chance to, to live longer, so they want to find a place to die or to do good deeds. Uh, these people will, can also come to my center, and they can live and they can die peacefully. Now already over 340 people already die in my center. They can live and die in peace uh, without worry. People who have problems with their health can also come to my center. If they stay in my center, I, I have to take care of everything for them as I can. That is also using my place and my belongings and my life for the people in need. It is also doing good deeds. If you have choice to stay anywhere, you can go. People who have no choice to stay, they can stay forever, permanently in my center. Opening public meditation center for all is also doing good deeds. And then uh, we will share the food, the medicine, the clothes, or the shelter, what we had. That's why people with the problems like this in the society will come and live in my center. I will feed anyone who come to my center what we have. Therefore, for the people who have no food can come and eat in my center. So feeding or guiding, sharing what we have, or taking care of the patients and OEs are also doing good deeds. 
because poor people cannot take care of themselves. Therefore, we have chance to take care of them. We can make home or we can make a hospital uh, for them. This is also hospital or clinic for them. This is doing good deeds. Now I'm, I am making Dhamma Hospital projects for, for these patients and OEs also. It will finish within one year. Uh, the one is six-story building and the one is four-story. I have been helping patients and OEs for over 13 years since I became a monk. That's why uh, more and more people came to know my helping job to them. That's why uh, more, more and more people participate to help me, to, to do like me. That's why I can take care of more and more patients and OH. If you think about from the other side, it is also doing good deeds. Uh, normally, we will think about from, my, from our own side. We will not think about from the other side. So if we think about from the other side, it can be called doing good deeds. If we think about from the side of the truth, it is also doing good deeds. You should learn by practice. In this way, you can know more and more. It will be difficult only in the beginning, but if you continue to do, it will not be difficult. Everyone is the same. We have to face many difficulties to do good deeds as our own. But if we are able to do and if we are able to lose our belongings, our life, to do good deeds, we can get this kind of good deeds as our own. If we do not lose our belongings and our life, we will have difficulty to continue to do good deeds. It is difficult for, the, for someone and also for the one group. The Bhava Sanda is the big group with two good deeds. It has been started from seven years ago <coughs> and only after six years the Sanda became stable. Before that, there are a lot of difficulty. This Sanda can be destroyed any time during the six years. But if we are doing right or true, there is the power in our sight. That's why the truth may get success one time. It is sure. Most of the charity group will do only limited good deeds. They will not do limitless good deeds. My center is doing limitless good deeds. That's why it is very difficult to be stable, to get success, to be well known, to participate most of the people, it is very difficult. But fortunately, many people became about the center and they like to do limitless good deeds. So they participate. That's why the center became stable and it, it can work by itself. In the previous years, whenever I go abroad for meditation retreat, there will be problems in my center. The center is not safe if I am not there. Now it can stand by itself without me. Many people begin recognize the center as this is necessary, so they should support this kind of organization. So. He will support the center whether I'm, I will be there or not. In the former time, they believe only in me, not in my center, not in my job, not in doing good deeds and meditation. That's why they will donate only to me. Now, they, many people came to understand doing good deeds and meditations are good. That's why they like to do good deeds and meditation. Therefore, they will participate in doing good deeds and meditation limitlessly. I always felt good for 
different when you speak to, to mindset. For example, a lot of minds don't feel that um, the, I should be so attached, and uh, not attached, but not returning on compassion, and I should focus more on a meditation, not me personally, but generally. And uh, some others are really on compassion and creating a, a good deeper for yourself and others, and you can explain this in an understandable way. If we understand, we should we should do. For the person who don't understand, uh, they cannot meditate. Uh, they will not help the others. So when we do good deeds, we should try to de- to detach from the others. They may understand or not. Even in Myanmar, most of the meditators cannot understand my teaching. It is too high for them. Maybe because of their strong attachment. If there is attachment, they cannot understand about attachment. If there is attachment, there will also be ignorance. So ignorance cannot understand about right understanding or truth. So I continue my teaching again and again, uh, day by day. I will not stop until they understand my teaching. So they, they can learn, although they don't understand, most of the people do not understand my teaching. There are some, a few people who can understand. So they will not understand like me. They will not do like me because they don't understand. But I continue to do what I understand. And then time after time, they can learn from us. They can learn from us what happened, what benefits I get because of doing like this. And then only when they see the result of a good deeds, you will follow me. I have been doing good deeds and meditation for over many, many years, but only a few people are interested in me and in my teaching. Now the situation changed. Most of the people are interested in my life, in my teaching, and in my center. So they're trying to do like, like me. They're trying to follow me. To be like this, I have to, I have to, I have to try hard for over ten years, and then when the time comes, my aim, my dream, became true. I do good deeds because I want, I want people to do good deeds. I teach guided meditation because I want people to meditate. But even in Myanmar, most of the people will not meditate, so I have to be patient. They, they know what I'm doing, but they are, they, they are not interested. They know what I'm teaching, but they are not interested. They will not practice. But they know. That's why later they can, they can learn from me. They don't know and they don't do. And if I know, if I don't do, they cannot learn from the others. We are living in the same place, in the same country. Although they are not doing like this, helping others too much, they can learn from me and they know about the cause and effect of doing good deeds and meditation. Therefore, finally, they came to do as I do. That's why there are a lot of charity groups, especially young generation are interested to do good deeds and meditation in Myanmar. That is good for the future. <laughs> They, they are free. The people are free to do anything, even politics, but they don't know what to do. Now they have choice to do good deeds and meditation. So uh, many new generations are interested to do like this. In the beginning, they will start from charity work, and then they, they, they will meditate, and they were trying to do charity works with mindfulness and detachment. That is the best we can do. Helping others is good. Practicing mindfulness and meditations are good. But helping others with mindfulness and meditation are the best. Both can be done together. In formal time, helping others and meditation are separate. If they meditate, they will not help others. 
if they help others, they will not meditate like this. They don't know how to combine this job. My, my job is to understand how to help others and meditate uh, with mindfulness and detachment. But it is possible, it is difficult. It is difficult because we have to make against the other. We have to make against our family. We have to make against the, the tradition. That's why it is difficult. If most of the people are willing to do like this, it will not be difficult. Now in Myanmar, many people are willing to help others and to do charity work and to meditate. Their understanding about meditation is not complete in, in formal time. That's why they don't want to meditate. They think if they meditate, they will not do other, other things. They think like this. They don't know meditation is useful in daily life. Now they, they came to, most of the people came to understand like this, that's why meditation or mindfulness and detachment became popular, common, common use. There are a lot of question and answer, a lot of speech about mindfulness and detachment and good deeds.